Yeah, so TREAC started 10 years ago. Um, this is our 10th anniversary um, by a few students at Stanford who uh, liked building projects and liked hacking, um, which is uh, kind of like building things informally or quickly uh, or, or just like fun projects to work on. And uh, they wanted to invite students from around the world and the country uh, to Stanford's campus to share a weekend together and, and build things together. So the main reason why we're here is to let students know that Intel is present in not only classical computing that we were used to many years ago, but also in the leading edge with respect to AI. As we push for AI everywhere, we have opportunity to work with a lot of people, and we need a lot of people to work on AI. So we want to make every company an AI company, and it's our opportunity to have a chance to work with the future generation of AI practitioners. So these are the people who are going to carry the AI everywhere uh, to, to make it happen here for us. We've got tons of tools, services, material that students can use in order for them to create some wonderful projects on the hackathon. And only that, to learn and to use that when they go out. Um, so we're working on something that we're calling uh, temporarily Scratch ML. And basically, the idea is to teach uh, younger students uh, to use machine learning in a no-code way, kind of like Scratch, which is just based on drag and drop. Um, we're currently working on an application that's um, going to function similar to Letterbox, if you've ever heard of that, um, but it would revolve around albums instead of movies. So Liftoff is um, an early stage to Series A accelerator. Uh, we work with AI startups from across the globe. Um, the whole idea is to create really valuable, really cool companies uh, starting from uh, zero. And uh, we are basically here to learn first from the students what they are building, what kind of tools they are using, uh, and also in the three days, uh, really help the students using the Intel software, Intel hardware, to quickly bootstrap your projects, their projects, and uh, really help them win the competition. That's, that's the whole point of, uh, we are here for. Uh, we bring our software and hardware to this kind of event so that students are familiar and these students would uh, join the workforce or create a startup maybe uh, in a year, two years from now. From now. So uh, they understand the technologies really well and uh, these are the best places. It's, it's better than a class to go to a hackathon and work with students uh, to familiarize with these kind of technologies. So um, I'm working on using the Intel Developer Cloud to fine-tune stable diffusion for generating synthetic medical images. So currently working on chest x-rays. Yeah, so the tool we're uh, focusing on, it's in the space of education technology. And specifically what it targets is um, kind of the learning gap that a lot of students, especially in younger grades, grades four through eight, face right now. Um, we often get students coming to us and asking like, oh, when am I going to use this in the real world? Or how is this like applicable? And I think that events like hackathons are a really great opportunity for students to take the things that they're learning in the classroom and put them into practice. So to get that firsthand experience of taking ideas that they have and trying to take those first steps and like making those ideas into a reality. So we are doing and we are making an app for people who suffer from memory loss and we are helping them to um, associate words with visual objects. We got inspired by ongoing research. And this research is based on the idea of the mind palace, which is a technique where people associate words and objects to places that they already know to help retain their memories better. Yeah, so what we're really looking to do is take this psychology research and intersect it with what we know with computer science to create an application that helps people who are suffering from memory loss. We're looking to make a uh, mesh network using uh, something called uh, uh, LoRa, which is a uh, hardware standard that allows you to um, very efficiently uh, send uh, data over long ranges. It's called NeoCity, and basically, um, if you think of the matrix, right, the whole concept of having a simulated world, I'm trying to create that kind of experience where there's multiple AI agents that essentially believe that they're in a, in real life. So they're gonna. I'm gonna try to give them like routines, um, personalities, you know, relationships. Try to have them interact with each other, and then I'm gonna throw in a character named Neo, and he's gonna go around and he's going to basically be trying to convince the AI, other AI agents, that they're not in a real world. Yeah, we have Red Bull, we have Celsius, um, we have coffee coming soon downstairs. 
and uh, yeah, we have so much caffeine here. Prediction Guard is helping enterprise companies overcome some of the barriers that they're facing in adopting this latest wave of large language model technology, specifically running an LLM platform and their applications in a secure and private environment. And we're doing that in Intel's developer cloud on the Gaudi 2 machines. And we found these to be very performant. They're also cost effective. And so we've been able to serve our customers well in hosting our platform on Gaudi 2s in Intel developer cloud. And we're joining this hackathon because we're providing the platform to all the students here to get quick access to really performant, uh, state-of-the-art large language models for their applications. And I was using the Intel Developer Cloud to build a neural chat. Uh, it's like a custom chat uh, bot using the chatbot API provided by Intel. A lot of the projects uh, to, uh, this weekend are using um, the Intel Developer Cloud um, and the free credits there. Um, you know, cloud computing is everything, and especially with the, the big focus on AI, um, being able to train and run these models very quickly is important. Um, and, and the expertise that Intel has brought uh, with their workshops um, has just been fantastic. And then Intel has really sort of solved the problem of like, I have so much stuff, I have like a really data intensive training process. How do I put it all in one place and train it? before the deadline for the hackathon. Um, so I think that was very valuable. They could really uh, do something that's impactful within a short period of time. And I find that really cool um, and really meaningful to me. Coming to these events really inspire me. It's so exciting to know that I'm surrounded by next-gen AI developers that are going to be changing the world one day. We have an opportunity to impact their journey here. And in doing so, we have an opportunity to impact the future of technology.